Alright guys, so like my other playoff matches, I am going to be doing this quick little 7-8 minute uh, team breakdown and team matchup and then the match itself will actually start. Somewhere on the screen should be the start time, but uh, fair warning, there's no face cam for this semi-finals match, and I explain why in the actual beginning of when the battle starts. So just, yeah, you can figure it out there, I guess. So we have made it to the semi, do you guys semi or semi? Semi, I hear people say semi-finals or semi-finals. Okay, this is probably not the time to dispute that. But I, don't, I guess let me know how you guys say it. I'm not, I, I don't really know. <laughs> but yeah, we are in the semifinals against John, aka Pokemon, and his New Orleans Pelipers. Now, I will be honest with you guys, I did not really want to make it this far into the APA, NPA season. Like, I would have been fine losing in the first round of playoffs, but we narrowly escaped round one. Uh, we were able to win round two, and now we're in round three of NPA finals. Uh, semi uh, NPA playoffs, I mean semifinals, and then if we win this one, we go to the finals against either my very good friend Kelly, Mr. Under the Radar, or Papa C. So a part of me wants to win, a part of me just wants this to be over, but they're like, again, it's like the same issue from last week, like, I want to win, because I don't want to lose, but I want to lose to get NPA over with, I, I don't know, like, just, yeah, but uh, regardless though, I will be trying my best in this game, like, I don't want to lose, if we have to play another game, make it the finals, that's still going to be pretty awesome, especially if we do play uh, Kelly, uh, so yeah, thanks to the few front office homies that were able to help me prep, and actually thanks to my boy Kelly under the radar, because he helped me uh, prep a little bit last minute, uh, the night before me and John actually played, so yeah, quick little thanks to my boy Kelly there. But uh, let's take a look at the matchup. So MPA has unlimited Z moves, so all of my opponent's mons can be Z moves. Uh, yes, that is indeed a Mega Latios, which is super annoying. His biggest threats are Primarina, Mega Latios, um, Flame Orb, Guts, Conkelder, and potentially x -Bot. But the issue is, is that I don't think he brings x -Ploud and Salazzle. I know I didn't mention Salazzle, but Salazzle is really good in this matchup as just a speedy offensive threat. I don't think he brings both of them. At least one of them makes a lot of sense. Conkelder is something he's only brought twice to games before, so I don't know if he were to bring that again. And then I don't expect both Skarm or Kofagrigus, honestly. And then Electrode, Absol, and Serena, I think, have absolutely terrible matchups. So I'm really not concerned about those three, and I really feel like his top six mons are what can do the utmost, or what can do the best. Or uh, potentially even Mudsdale and x -Plow. but the bottom last three I don't expect. So let's take a look at our first team member here. We have the Shield, aka Hydreigon, uh, running a nice Choice Scarf set. Originally, I was going to go with a more speedy set. At level 50, we hit 125 speed. That outspeeds uh, everything on his team. I think that could potentially come Scarfed, unless he was like Jolly Scarf Serena or Timid Scarf x -Plow. But I think x -Plow, if it were to come, would be Specs, just because of the nuking potential. And then I don't think he's going to bring something like Scarf Salazzle or Scarf Electrode. Uh, if anything, we outspeed Scarf Serena, which he has brought before. But because of the bulk as well, we can tank a Guts Adamant Mock Punch from Conkelder if it really comes down to it. This is our main check to Mega Latios. He's like to bring max HP or very a lot of HP invested, a little bit defensive investment, Mega Latios. He's brought Calm Mind Roost to attacks a lot. So this is our main way of being able to potentially halt that and stop it from just absolutely blowing us back. But the thing is, is that the Mega Latios is so bulky, we can't even Oko it with Outrage if he's running max HP. So obviously we have to be careful with that. Flamethrower is really only for Skarmory. We 2 a KO if he's not a spadef bulky. Crunch is a nice middle ground move. It hits Kofa Grigus and Mega Latios for decent damage. Then U-turn is U-turn there for momentum. So our next team member is going to be Mega Gallade. Again, uh, running another very bulky, kind of slow set. This outspeeds everything that is not the... Salazzle and the Megalodios. The reason why I don't want to run Jolly is because I don't want to risk a speed tie and with the immense natural spadef bulk that Gallade has, it can easily live Draco Meteors if he were to bring Draco Meteor, but I think he needs Psychic and Ice Beam. Like between Psychic and Ice Beam, he legitimately hits everything that we have, so that would make sense to me. And then X Scissor is always a 2 at KO unless he's absolutely max defense, max HP, in which case I think we do outspeed him, so that could be very good in our favor. Then just four offensive moves in general do a lot of work against him. 
Now, it does kind of suck that we couldn't fit something like Taunt to stop uh, Will-O-Wisp And uh, it would have been nice to maybe have SD, but Mega Gallade had four move slot syndrome. And I figured that if I just have the four offensive moves, we can just do damage immediately. So yeah, that's kind of the idea behind this set. And the great thing about it is that Zen Headbutt still straight to Ikeyo's Primarina, which is absolutely amazing. And this thing can still be just a giant... Uh, offensive threat to his team. So our next team member is going to be Wanderer aka Steelix, a nice specially defensive Aya Papa Berry set. This is our main answer to potentially Specs x -Blob. This can also deal with Calm Mind Latios. I don't think he can bring Sub Calm Mind because then he either doesn't have Roost or he doesn't have a coverage move and he needs to have two offensive moves to hit everything that we have. So I don't expect Subcom Mine, that's why Toxic is really good, because we can Toxic Megalodios, get off that little bit of chip, and uh, us not being able to do any damage with it with any offensive move is really not that big of an issue. Uh, Roar is just in case he does want to bring the uh, Subcom Mine. Roar also helps against Calm Mine, Kofa Grigis, uh, Skarmory being a giant nuisance. Uh, potentially just kind of switching his team in and out if we're able to get up rocks and spikes potentially and then earthquake is earthquake so there's not really much else to say but earthquake really hits everything except for the skarmory and the megalodios and then if he does bring serena i can just toxic it so that's fine next team member is going to be our choice specs primo arena switch in slash salazzle switch in because if you look at our team specs primo arena legitimately just clicks its dual stab not even quillfish appreciates taking a moon blast or hydro pump from modest specs primarina because that thing hits like an absolute nuke that's where manaphy comes in if he is specs if he doesn't energy ball us, then we tank anything. We can actually live two modest specs energy balls, which could really come in handy because then in return, we can either knock off his specs, we can energy ball him to revenge him or put him in range of where Gallade can knock him out. And then you turn and knock off are just there for momentum and item scouting and then Scald. It's kind of free against his team. Like look at his team. Nothing really wants to switch into a Scald except for like Guts Count Counter, I suppose. But even then, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. So yeah, just very spadef bulky assault vest manaphy. Our next team member is going to be Quillfish, which is going to be our spiker and our main Conkelder answer. Now, the only issue with uh, Conkelder and this Quillfish is that if John plays Conkelder very smartly and he scouts out for the Destiny Bond, then that could be very pro problematic because switching in to Conkelder if its guts activated is an absolute nightmare. So I'm hoping that he doesn't expect us to have the de Destiny Bond or maybe he will think that we'll over predict with it or mispredict with it and then we can kind of take advantage of that. Uh, spikes with rocks are absolutely amazing this match. Yes, he does have Skarmory and Mega Latios, but if we're able to deal with those, then we can hopefully get up both of our hazards and then Serena, again, I don't expect Serena, but if he does bring it, we have Poison Jab for it, which is really nice. Taunt is amazing to stop uh, Skarmory from roosting, Kofa Grigis from setting up, and uh, Latios, potentially, if he thinks we're going to switch, we can stop it. Uh, Poison Jab even wouldn't be that bad to hit Latios with for some decent damage. Yeah, we're not able to touch Salazzle, but we barely do any damage to Salazzle. And Life Orb, uh, Salazzle can still 2 it KO us just because we don't have the best special defense around. But Quillfish is probably only going to be here for Conkelder. It's not going to be doing anything else, I think, honestly. And then our final team member is going to be Mojado, aka Rotomo, my trusty lawnmower. Nice and uh, offensive tank here. So the great thing about Rotomo in this match is that it acts as a very good pivot mon. This can switch into Gofagrigus, into Skarmory, potentially Primarina, Mudsdale, uh, Electrode, Absol, uh, non-offensive Serena, Conkelder if it's not Guts or Banded, and just a really good just pivot mon, basically. Like, there's no real other way around it. And plus, this can also really dent his team. Like, as an offensive pivot, this does a lot of damage to most of his mons. And then Toxic is amazing for Latios and Serena, respectively. Also, potentially, Kofagrigus if we blow our, our load early with uh, Z Bloom Doom. Which Z Bloom Doom hits everything that Thunderbolt doesn't hit besides Latios and Salazzle essentially. So we should be able to nuke something with this set. But yeah guys, that is going to be our squad for the semifinals here. With that being said, this was a little longer than I'd expected. So let's jump into the actual battle itself. Yeah, boss of YouTube, Six Foot Hacks here. Happy you guys today, the semifinals of the NPA 
against Pokemon, coach of the New Orleans Pelippers. I am so nervous, man. I know I say that a lot, but oh, like I'm like tingling, man. I don't, I don't know. So no face cam. I apologize, just because my youngest son does not like to not be around me, and it's only me and him for right now at the house since my oldest son is out with my sister. So yeah, um, and he doesn't like it when he can't see me. So if I close the door, you guys are gonna hear him crying and banging on the door, and that's not very good parenting. If you ask me so okay what did he not bring okay he did bring conk it's a little scary um no x-bot is really nice no salazzle is also super nice and no electrode if you guys are excited for this this could be our final match in the npa guys so make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below hammer arm it while you are at it Okay, I'm actually really surprised Serena came, and that's a little bit annoying. I did not think it would come. Primarina and Conkelder are absurdly terrifying uh, to deal with. What am I missing here? Kofu Grigus. That is indeed Megalodios. For those of you who may not know, I should add like a little Team Builder thing right before this, like I've done before with the other um, playoff matches. But yeah, no face cam. Again, I apologize about that. Oh, dude, my heart's like pounding right now. I'm so nervous. So nervous and excited. We're gonna lead with Serena. Not Serena, sorry, with Rotom Mo. Serena could be a little bit of a nuisance, actually. You probably brought it. Brought it. I probably brought it to uh, stop us from hazard stacking him potentially, so. That is going to be something that we will have to watch out for. He could very well have the, the rapid spin on this. So we are gonna lead off with Rotom as he ends up leading off with the Serena. Okay. So this is not too bad. I should be able just to go strip for a Toxic on this. I don't think Serena can do entirely too much to us. And if we can talk to this, that is great. We do have Pulfish in the back. There is a chance that he could be running a very speedy set, but it all it all depends here because we are also running a lot of speed on our Rotom Mo here. So I think Toxic, regardless, is my best play right now. He has nothing to stop us from just clicking the Bolt Switch. And that is amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh yeah, I'll obviously go check out John. His channel link and stuff will be down below. So he's a very speedy Serena. That did a lot. That's banded. <sighs> yeah, that's gotta be banded. He's Jolly Banded. Judging from the damage that he did. Don't agree that Serena was a, the likeliest of brings here. And we missed Toxic. Okay, that sucks. Uh, I'm gonna Volt Switch here. I guess we don't activate his Guts, which is nice. So we should be able to tank a hit here, and we can just uh, click Volt Switch. That's gotta be Jolly Bandit. Why would he bring Jolly Bandit is the question. No, is he Adam and Bandit? I'm missing something here. No, he is not Bandit. Mm, expert belt maybe why would you bring expert belt though that makes no sense oh getting t yeah it's my sister <laughs> so we're just gonna bring in quillfish here this is our best switch into conkelder regardless and we're gonna see what he wants to do here if he earthquakes we can tank that as he goes for the knockoff that is fine by me What we can do here is potentially spikes. Let's see, 171 minus 126. Get 45 points of damage. So we can see what kind of set this is exactly running here. You definitely should be adamant though, it'd make a lot of sense. Oh no, you are not you are not level 100. Get out of here. 
So he did 45, so he is adamant. He could just be assault vested, potentially. I kind of want to spike here. Uh, poison jab doesn't seem bad either. What do you- I don't know if you would bring in Skarmory is the thing though. And we're definitely gonna take an Earthquake here. Hmm. I guess a Toxic would have been nice in this instance, instance because we do get up damage on him. But I want to spike I think. As he just stays in! Oh, we can definitely take an Earthquake though. Oh, Thunder Punch! Okay. We eat that. Please don't paralyze me. Thank you. Okay. So we were at one... Oh, chill out, little dude. Yeah, see, he just may be running in and out. I apologize. Oh, okay, let's see. He did like 45 to us. So we were at 126. 126 minus 64 is 62. So we can probably live another one, which is a little bad. Actually, he probably just got a really low roll on that. So I think I'm going to Destiny Bond here. Oh, if he knocks us out, this is great. I will gladly take this trade. I will gladly take this trade. Come on, baby. Yes. Okay, good. So that's really good for us. As uh, he's going to knock himself out here. Alright, so back. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap. So he ended up just U-turning with the Serena, I think. How much did he do? He did... 48? Okay, so he's definitely adamant. So he's gotta be Scarfed Serena. Okay, so he's Scarfed Serena then. Adam and Scarf Serena is what he's running. From the looks of it. I don't think this is physically defensive. Because we did over 50% to him. He's right at 55. Probably just close combat again, honestly. That's something I think I'm willing to do here. Because getting rid of this would be absolutely great. Come on, baby! No! It lived! Oh, please defog. Expect me to switch. Damn it. Oh, that was... That might have been a questionable play on my part. Could have been a very questionable play on my part. I really thought we would knock him out there. I thought that maybe he would try to go for the roost. Or the defog there. That made sense as well. So we're sitting in a bit of a tough spot here. I'm gonna bring in my own Scarfer. Because he looks like he's adamant on just consistently switching into Serena here. And Serena is still a giant issue to us. Oh, we are on the back foot right now, honestly. Like, Mega Latios is still an issue. The Primarina is still terrifying. He's got Kofagrigus as well. King Tut is the Kofagrigus. Okay, so this is good. This is really good for us. So I'm definitely just going to U-turn here. He's got no reason to stay in. We could very well be Z-Belch. Well, not Z-Belch, uh, Z but we could go for Dark Pulse here very easily. So I think U-turning is my best play. Why would you stay in? I 
I don't agree with that at all. He's playing very odd. Because Dark Pulse, like, I had no reason to not Dark Pulse there if I was Z-Belch. Because I knocked this out, and then I can Belch on the Primarina. I don't agree with that at all. But we're going to bring in uh, Rotom here. Oh, he is Trick Room. I thought he would be Trick Room, too. Trick Room didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, unfortunately, a Shadow Ball knocks us out here. I'm pretty sure. Because after the damage we took from that U-turn. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude, he just... He clean knocks us out here. Uh, I don't think I can afford to switch, though, is the problem. Ah, oh, he did Shadow Ball. Oh, we lived! What? Is he not... I guess he's not running max special attack. I don't think this Bloom Doom knocks him out, but we do waste an extra turn of the Trick Room. Okay, well that's really good actually. I like that. I'll take that. So we can waste an extra turn of Trick Room here, which is excellent. This should live, right? No, it died. Okay, so it goes down. Okay, so that's excellent actually. That's really good for us. Uh, Primarina is looking a little scary, honestly, in the back, just chilling, plotting, scheming. LaCroix should be Primarina, I think, right? Yeah. Mm. Still has three turns of Trick Room, too. I really want to switch right into my Mana Fee here. This should be Modest Specs, I think. Like, Modest Specs Primarina just absolutely destroyed us. So it would make sense if he was Modest Specs. Manaphy can tank too. We can knock off the Specs maybe. But I think I just need to get off the damage first with my Energy Ball. So there should be no way he 2 KOs here. As long as he doesn't get a special attack drop, we should be fine, but knowing my luck, he may. Yes! Okay, no special attack drop. I'll take it. It does not look like he's specs, though. Yeah, because that didn't do enough to be specs. I only did 45 points of damage. So what is this running? Yeah, he's not Specs at all. It looks like he is Timid, though. Well, he could be Modest and he just got a low roll. Uh, we can still tank two Energy Balls. If he Bloom Dooms, that's a little scary, but... I don't think I lose anything in just going for Energy Ball here. Because if he tries to bring in Serena or the Latias, we're faster than that. And I think he wants to try and take advantage of these turns of Trick Room. So I'm going to Energy Ball here. No, he does switch. Okay. Oh, I thought about knocking off there too. I really wanted to knock off there. Really wish I knocked off. We still have Trick Room up. Hmm... I need to save this Mana Fee. Mana Fee can still do a lot of work here. Ah, oh, I knew I should have knocked off. I really wish I had knocked off there. So I got a U-turn here, and I may have to sack off Rotom. As much as I don't want to, I may have to sack off Rotom. I thought he would want to stay in with the Primarina to try and use his last two turns of Trick Room. That's why I figured Energy Ball might have been the better play there, but he did switch here, so might have been smarter for me to click knockoff in the end, I think. 
But yeah, we're gonna U-turn out here. Still doing good damage too. Serena's getting really worn down at this point. So Trick Room ends this turn. I probably have to sack Rotom, I think. I'm pretty sure this is Scarf. So I can sack Rotom, see what he locks himself into, and then make the appropriate play from there. As he goes for the Power Whip. That is fine. I'll take that. Okay, so this is a little bit of an issue. If I knock this off, man, this thing would not be as big of a problem. Because I could have probably brought in... Man Actually, is Manaphy faster than this? Yeah, Manaphy would outspeed this, because he's adamant guaranteed. Mm, let's see. This Hydreigon's U-turn knock this out. Please tell me we do 31. Oh, yes. So U-turn should knock this out. Hydreigon's U-turn should knock this out. And we're definitely taking a power whip. So Hydreigon can U-turn here. We pick this off for sure. There's no reason for me to crunch. I don't need to outrage either or click uh, anything else at this current moment. Primarina is still a giant, <laughs> giant problem. Serena is still a giant, I mean, Primarina is still a giant problem. Would it be Scarf Primarina? I don't think so. That wouldn't make much sense, I think, if he was Scarf. So let's see what's going to go down right now. Oh, I really wish I had gone for the knockoff, man. I really wish I had gone for the knockoff instead of Energy Ball. Mega Latios is still terrifying in the back as well. Because he hasn't brought it out yet. He likes Calm Mind a lot. So he now knows that we are Scarf. So I should be able to bring in my uh, Manaphy here. Latios, Manaphy, I want to see how much U-Turn does. Oh, 22%. I have to U-Turn here. I have to U-Turn. That... Primarina could still potentially win him the battle. Which is really scary. We're gonna see how much damage we do to this. As he just decides to Calm Mind, yeah. So it's obviously he was bringing Calm Mind. Mega Latios, he's brought it a lot. Lately. This should do about 20%. Yeah, it did about 20%. Okay, good. So he's sitting at about 80 at this point. Oh, Crunch does not knock him out either. Hmm, he's definitely max HP though. If I bring in Steelix, I can... Toxic, potentially. We also have Roar. And Toxicing this thing would be amazing. So I'm not gonna bring in Hydreigon just yet. I am definitely gonna go for Toxic though. We tank Ice Beams for days. We are max Badef, max HP. We have the Ayapapa Berry. Ice Beam, I think, is his best move to hit Steelix with in the first place. If he wants to bring in Primarina, I'm probably going to try and get up my Stealth Rocks. That way we can get off that extra chip damage on Latios. But right now, Primarina and Mega Latios can still win him the game if I play incorrectly around them. So I stand by me bringing in Steelix here. Because we Toxic this, or we Toxic Primarina, we still tank any move he wants to go for, and uh, we can probably get up rocks next turn if we wanted to do that. So he's gonna switch, that's fine. That is fine. Just don't miss. Yes, okay, good. Now we put this on the timer, that's excellent. 
he should bring us down to our sturdy here. But he's not, I mean, he's not specs though, is the thing. Yeah, but a Hydro Pump still activates our berry. Actually, would it be better for me to go for Earthquake here? Actually, I probably could just Earthquake, I think. Earthquake does about 40%. 33. Latios was at 80%, minus 12% from rocks if you got those up. He'd be at 68. He still wouldn't be in range of Crunch. So I'm probably going to have to Outrage regardless, so I need to Earthquake here, I think. I'm going to Earthquake, I think. Ah, he over predicts. Good. So that's good for us. We're going to see what he's running there. That did 42. Oh, no, the special attack drop. How dare you? I am a Steelix, sir. I'm offended. So yeah, we're going to bring this low. Uh, we do put him into torrent range, unfortunately. He did 42. Would he be Timid Scarf? Is the question. A Hydro Pump at this point knocks us out, though. So, I'm gonna switch into Manaphy here. Because this is his chance to potentially go for the water move. Whew. This is coming to the wire. I'm just really nervous, man. I'm really, really nervous. He ends up Ice Beaming there, probably expecting us to bring in Hydreigon. Don't freeze me, please. Okay, good. No freeze. Oh, it just went down. Okay, good. So now we should be able to bring in Hydreigon, and I think we win with Hydreigon. Because we can click Adamant Scarf Outrage. So he may try and go for Roost here, but I think it's still beneficial for me to go for U-Turn. Okay, yes, now he should be guaranteed in range of Outrage from Hydreigon. Alright, he's at 80%. Let's see how much we're going to do to this exactly. Oh, he's down to 55. Okay, he's definitely in range of Outrage. I think we might have just made it to the finals of the NPA, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I don't think he can be bold, max defense. No, Outrage 110% knocks him out here. We are definitely faster than this. We have our choice scarf. Guys, we have made it to the finals of the NPA where we are facing either my very good friend, Kelly, Mr. Under the Radar, or Papa C. So I'm just going to click Adamant Scarfed Outrage and this should absolutely drop, right? This is Mega Latios. Max defense, max HP, bold nature. We do 67% minimum to this. So I'm clicking outrage. And you better not be lying to me, Calc. You better not be lying to me right now. Yes, we made it to the finals. Oh, we have a chance to win another championship. Very, very good game to John, AKA Pokemon there, man. I was so scared this match. Like Serena, I didn't think would actually come to this game so it was able to put in a lot of work this match but just yeah if you guys did enjoy hammer arm that thumbs up button down below guys i will see you all the week after next with the finals not next week because i'll be gone from the 8th to the 17th for vacation so just oh yes i i did not think i really did not expect this to make it to the mpa finals but hey baby hashtag never bet against us Never bet against the Durham Drudagon. So thank you to John. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Check him out. And I will see you with the finals in a week or two. Not next week, but the week after next. So not next Saturday, but the Saturday after that. So yeah, <laughs> later guys. Thank you all for watching. No matter where you're at, I'm not here to make friends. It's time to attack and deplete your HP with a final smash. Don't make me turn around and pull a six foot. Hacks. <laughs> six foot, six foot hacks. Hacks. Yeah. Six foot, six foot hacks. Hacks. Yeah. Six foot, six foot hacks. Hacks.